Queer Spaceship Music Collective. This is Six Set Bro, a misguided adventure through the social fringe of the music industry. I'm your host, Del Maple. What's happening? Welcome to Six Set Bro. I'm joined as always with my brother from another mother, some of them from the same mother. <laughs> my bro Michael <laughs> I don't I'm trying to think. I, I, I'm trying to I, think. I, I'd be the one from the same mother. Yeah. I'm I i do not know. I, I haven't quite got there yet with like a sweet uh intro thing. I'm also joined by my pal uh, Andy some. Fernandez, big N, big N on the screen if you're watching on the <laughs> YouTube. No Afternoon, N. good evening, morning, whatever it is. No N on the screen if you're just no N on the screen. Uh, we're going to get into a couple of things tonight, cover a couple of things such as the return of Ferrell's uh, new single coming out, uh, NI Music Prize going cyber. But first of all, I got to start with um, it's something, something that's very important that I talk about, I feel. Um, so I, I've been saying this a while to my wife. See, undercover boss, <laughs> sometimes I'll come down in the morning. And I'll just walk into the room and the TV's on. I don't know Undercover's boss on. Uh, like, I've seen nothing, see no titles. And I walk in and there's just a guy standing there. And I'm like, this is Undercover boss because that man is undercover. Yeah, so, the, the, the bad disguises. <laughs> how does anyone ever fall for it? If I can walk into my <laughs> living room and be like, that is an Undercover CEO. Like, I mean, he doesn't even need to say anything. The disguises are so awful. But, you know, I looked into this because, um, like I, I have this thing about like I, I want to know if reality shows are, are real or not. Like, are we actually doing them? Because uh, there's a lot of like uh, cookery shows and like saving restaurant shows uh, where they're kind of half faked. Yeah, not even kind of, man. Just like the whole thing. Um, yeah. it, like people who have been on them have talked about it and just said like, yeah, that the whole thing is just staged and they come in and tell you what they want you to do and all this sort of stuff. So, um. I remember I looked up about Undercover Boss and everyone's like, no, it's legit. Like everything's above board. There's no problems with it. And I was like, is everyone just like collectively being like, don't say anything. <laughs> we know they're undercover. <laughs> like we know it. And then they're just yeah. like, my dad's really sick. Uh, his hospital bills are going to cost about $10,000. <laughs> Yeah, because everybody always... knows what the show is now. So yeah, it's like, oh, just... the boss is trying to fool us. If we if we just stay quiet and like... uh, tell him a story, we'll get some money and a free holiday and maybe a car. Yeah, I mean, 100%. I mean, there's always a moment, like, you get this weird guy who comes in and says, I'm part of a game show where I could win a competition to own my own restaurant. Would you like to come outside on your lunch break and tell me about your life? And... Have you been through any hard stuff in your life? Tell me about that. <laughs> and it's always like people have had such hard lives. Either that or we're all collectively conning undercover boss, which is, I hope, the case. Like, yeah, I hope that's the, true. The, the CEOs don't need the money. So let's, let's just hope that's the way things are. There's one that I actually remember, and I can't remember if it was because uh, there's like different, different versions of it. There's like UK undercover boss and there's like a Canadian one and an American one. And but stuff, can I stop it? you for two seconds and just say that there is a big, big cultural difference between any, like the UK one and anywhere yeah. else because the UK one is, as far as I understand, the one that started it. Yeah, mm -hmm. that one was not about giving people money. That was literally about showing up to businesses and being like, what the, <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> You're fired. You're fired. Have you ever seen it? It was like the first one was like one of those um, family like Butlin resort things. And the stuff that the guy found, he was like, this is horrible. And I run this company. And then America's wow. like, here's 20 grand. Here's 20 grand. You do a great job. Very different shows. Yeah. So um, go on. Yeah. No, I, it must. It must have been like the American one, or there. I think there was like even an Australian one as well. But you're saying about the bad disguises, and I remember it was like this CEO, and he was buff. Like the guy was really, really built CEO, and basically what they did was like they must think that everybody's like out of like a, a Superman comic or something. 
they put a mullet wig on him and some glasses and it was like there you go nobody's gonna know it's him yeah <laughs> genius they they pretty much go with the opposite of what you look like so yeah. i mean you, you're bald you're a bald businessman in a suit now you're punk rocker <laughs> and it's like just your general punk rocker you know like one you you see in a cartoon or something it's like people yeah i don't think people the, the actually dress like this cli- cliched version of a punk rocker you can think of it's like dude shows up like to a straight out of guitar hero yeah <laughs> this guy shows up with like liberty spike mohawk and he comes in with like his five ear piercings a nose piercing an eyebrow piercing tattoos all over his face and he's like but hey then, but then you i'm can also- going for a competition to win my own restaurant <laughs> you can also tell by the way that he holds himself and yeah, he's, he's not, not comfortable dressing hey, like he's that. He's not comfortable like this. <laughs> it looks like, it looks like something like uh, Will Farrell plays on uh, Eastbound and Down. Have you seen them clip? Have you seen that movie? Um, no. Uh, oh my! I haven't, I haven't got far enough in that. It's a TV show, right? It's uh, is it a TV? It's a, I just see I don't clips know. of it. But he's got like the blonde wig. He's got the glasses. Yeah, or the blonde the mullet, and it's like he's yeah, like a that's... car. He's a car salesman in it, I think. If you oh, haven't seen, been, oh my god! It's been ages since <laughs> I did actually watch it. I, I, do, I don't know if I finished it because I think maybe I'm one season away from it. But it was a good show. Like it was a very uh, good show. yeah. I think I only started. Don't know why I didn't keep watching it. Uh, <laughs> I do this with everything. I just start There's and, too oh. much good TV. Is the problem? That too is true. That is true. Um, oh, here. Speaking of which, just a this this isn't really a topic that we'll spend an awfully long time on but i just wanted to actually even just mention to you guys off the podcast have you guys ever heard of a show called utopia i uh, heard of it never watched it yeah uh so the thing no, i'm is, thinking of euphoria sorry all right yeah that apparently that's good too i haven't got around yeah. to watching it yet but um so utopia was like a um british tv show that was like i'm pretty sure it was on channel 4 or something at the time one of those typical like um, British series that was of like really high quality, but it like had a really short episode run, two seasons, six episodes each season. And it was like about seven years ago or something that it was on TV. Um, the only reason that it's popped back into my head was that um, they'd done like an American remake of it recently. And it's popped mm. up on Amazon Prime. Mm. Now I, I I don't know anything about the American remake other than like I've read bad things. It's not it's not great. But um, basically, it piqued my interest to go back and watch um, the original Utopia again, the British one, um, because I remembered that I really enjoyed it at the time, and um, Jade hadn't seen it either. But I would really recommend watching that show. It's very um, very good, um, mm. and it, it weirdly like. It's the conspiracy version of what's going on at the minute because there's like a there's like a pandemic involved in it. So there's weird mirrors between what's happening now, but it's actually all fake. It's all about this um, these four people that kind of become friends over an internet forum, and it's all about a, a graphic novel that um, they're all obsessed with. But it like has details in it that kind of like predict the future or whatever and it was written by a scientist um but i don't want to give away too much um the characters are great there's stop this... stop <laughs> don't give away too much of that. <laughs> there's i just say one thing there's this hitman that is like the most unassuming hitman ever if you sit down and watch the show i think you will love him because he's basically the most stereotypical version of like like a British like plumber or Wait, tradesman or something. Big, he wasn't a mastermind, big... was he? No. Oh, back. Hey. <laughs> Nailed <Big> it. <laughs> Virtual five. <laughs> you can't. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah, I believe you. Mike, anyway. I feel like this is what you've done to me before. So uh, whenever I first, whenever I uh, just came home with a newborn baby, you lent me Death Stranding. And that's a game where I got to go around rocking a baby and it's like it's the last thing i want to do so now you're suggesting in the middle of a pandemic i watch a tv show about a pandemic yeah (laughs) no (laughs) i need escapism it is escapism that's why i watched emily in paris emily in paris well that sounds feminine (laughs) it is not that there's anything wrong with that is is this is that not that show that um uh the the whole um the whole of France are up in arms about at the moment because are it's they? like 
am I thinking of the right one or is this a different show that's on Netflix where some girl goes to yeah she does something? like the social media and stuff of a yeah, and, company and fashion every, every person is basically as Being French, French yeah. as a French person could be they're rude and they have baguettes and they're dressed in stripy jumpers and yeah. stuff it's it's a stereotype definitely yeah. but it's a good yeah. show that's France for you <laughs> It's a good show. France. I just remember reading somewhere that I don't think France is too happy about that show. Oh, wow. Ah, France are never happy. Oh, well. I, but no, it is, a, assume, it is a good show. <laughs> I assume I don't know if France are ever happy. If you oh. want to escape, if you don't want to relive the reality like Mike is currently by watching yeah. things. Oh, on. man, I need to get away from this pandemic. <laughs> what should I watch? Oh, yeah, pandemic. Just to be clear, guys, it's... <laughs> It's very, very uh, <laughs> different. It's like dramatized. Yeah, it's not a documentary. No, I <laughs> uh, well, I watched Guava Island last night, and it has taken me so long to get around to watching it, but I finally did, which is the Donald Glover movie. Uh, if <gasps> no, yeah, Andrew, I remember Andrew Mamandrew wa- watched it a long time ago. Didn't he premiere it at uh, is Coachella? Uh, like yeah. a few years ago. Uh, yeah, I think it was. And it was pretty much all the music videos that he had, like all the songs that he had released in a yeah. few months. Had a... Yeah, there's a couple of new ones on there as well. But like, yeah. uh, it took me forever to get around to it. And then I remembered, I was like, I have Amazon Prime and it's all on there. So I was like, I'm going to sit down and watch it because it's only like 55 minutes or something. Yeah. And it's pretty much just like a, it's like a musical, a Childish Gambino yeah. musical, which is a lot of fun. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really cool. It's weird when you see the scenes and he starts doing certain songs and you're like, hold on. How's, hmm. oh yeah. Yeah, it's very cool. <laughs> he makes it tie in quite well, but uh it, it's the thing that frustrates me because it's been out for so long so it probably seems like it's not going to happen now is i kind of wish it had its own soundtrack because there's hmm. there is like childish gambino songs in the movie but they're different versions so he has like professionally recorded alternate versions of those songs which are very cool but he has not released a soundtrack for it and there's also songs that have just never been on anything else like there's a song called saturday on it and i remember he yeah. played that on snl whenever he hosted it a couple years back i don't even think you can get that youtube video anymore you used to be able to look it up and watch the performance of saturday on snl and nobody really knew what it was for at the time they're just like oh it's a new childish gambino song and then it never came out and but it's in the movie um as a big part at the end but yeah i would love to actually have those songs uh yeah. donald donald could you do that could you bring that up for me donald <laughs> could you please? do that donald that would be very nice but yeah, yeah, I watched I watched that. That's it was very show. cool, very cool. Uh, totally into it. And I've heard just before we started this, I still haven't heard it yet. But I heard Kanye's at it again. <laughs> what the fuck was that, Kanye? Hold on. Is it you? Is it me? Nobody knows it's you. What the fuck was that, Kanye? So did he, Andy told me Kanye brought out a new song. Haven't heard it yet. Is it bad? Yeah. Uh, it, it was. It just sounds unnecessary. Like he did. He doesn't need to. It's um. I, I'm just not. You just listen to it, and then next week we'll talk about it. Okay. But I can tell you now, it would sound better if Future was on it. Kanye doesn't need to do this type of music. I think he's trying to go so far from what he was doing. He was going the right way. Now, I still haven't listened to... the hell's that album called again? Jesus is King. Yep. I still haven't listened to that. The only song, the only song that I've listened to is that tiny bit in, when I was in the car with you. Mm. That's it. That instrumental bit. That's uh, so good, I still haven't. It's a... a I want to say good record. It's it's not a bad record. Either. Apparently, There's... musically, like it's, like it's great. But I that no, I don't, I wouldn't say it's incredible. It's still no. I mean, by far is best. Or I was about to say by far his best work, but that makes it sound like I'm saying that it is. No, I mean it's very far from his best work. Like uh, you know, I I don't know. I've actually been listening to a lot of old Kanye recently, just going mm. back, and I'm like, shit, what happened? Yeah. No, but, it's it's very it's trappy. It's like trap music. So he's behind the times, kind of, if you know what I mean. So that like, that covers yay or nay for this week. Kanye, new song, haven't heard it yet. He's Andy gonna be on has. Rogan soon. 
He's going to be on Rogan. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? He's gonna, he asked them to uh, design this studio. <laughs> what? <laughs> so Rogan, his new studio, his like red fucking cocoon thing that he was in. Yeah, I hear that. So he's moving from that. And I think his first guest in the new studio is Kanye because Kanye posted a FaceTime screenshot of him and Rogan talking. And he asked mm-hmm. Rogan if he could uh, design the studio. So it's happening. Apparently, don't know when. He said this Friday, but uh, we know Kanye and and deadlines. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be this Friday. <laughs> uh, all right, okay, that that'll that'll wrap that up. I'll listen there to it. Go. We'll talk about it next week. <laughs> yes. Is it yeah or is it me? Nobody knows it's yeah. What the fuck was that, Kanye? Uh, yeah, so uh, looking at some local Northern Irish music news. Uh, so the big thing, I think we all knew it was probably going to happen. The NI Music Prize that we talk about every single year, uh, it's, it's going, going uh, virtual uh, as far as I'm aware. Uh, Mike, do you, you see about it earlier? I know there's probably not much to say about it at this moment in time, but I I'm glad it's still happening, um, but I I figured this this was gonna happen. Like we knew it was gonna have to go this way. Yeah. Um. Hold on here. I'm just trying to see if I can get this invite up again. I think there is. I'm not gonna be able to find it now. I think there's an event for it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which might have some details on it. Yeah, I've um, seen it go. Uh, you know, flagging up around the place. I just haven't had a chance today to really look at it, but. Uh, it's just they've made it official. I think everyone could have guessed it was gonna go as some sort of virtual show, yeah. but uh, yeah, it'll it'll be interesting. At least they're still making it work in some way. I mean, it's hard. It doesn't look like it's getting any better out there. So uh, we're probably hunkering down for the long haul here, boys. All guys back. All guys back. <laughs> we're just gonna have to do this. Um, but yeah, I mean, I hope that this will offer up a additional platform for musicians in this country to be able to reach out to me uh if you want even if you want your songs played on here um you know hit me up and and we can try and sort something out and make it like a fucking cool pirate dj podcast or something i don't know we'll figure it out but we're just here to try and help people out at this time because uh i don't think there's gonna be any live shows for a while yeah Definitely not this year, anyway. Nah. Just to interject here with the the information, um, you said there's not too much about it just at the minute. Um, uh, go on to NI Music Prize on Facebook, and there is an event and stuff for it there. But basically, they're gonna try and do it as as much like uh, the live version of the show as possible. So, um, DJ and broadcasters of uh, across the line, Rigsy and Gemma Bradley are gonna be presenting it. Mm-hmm. Um, there's gonna be live presentations and. Also, I think it says somewhere that there's <laughs> going to be performances as Sorry, well. Live presentations. Just imagine like PowerPoints. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> PowerPoint presentations. Yeah. And on our next slide. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think it's taking place in OEM Music Center. So, oh, like, uh, like socially distanced. They will have some people actually there and it's going to be shown on YouTube. As far oh, as I right okay so. cool well as long as i can tune in that's uh that's sweet um you just remind me of something there and i really want to find it for you uh because it cracked me up uh so you see the recent um the recent uh coronavirus like address the english one where they had uh called what's that guy called professor fucking witty oh, witty know. witty really did you see the thing <laughs> Like Greg James put together on Radio One for like uh, the Cha Cha Slide. No. <laughs> oh, buddy. All right, I'm gonna have to find it here, and I hope I can find it fast. Hold on with me. Um. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I'm just laughing thinking about it. Y'all remember DJ Casper, the Cha Cha Slide? Oh yeah. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm probably not gonna be able to find it. Though. Come on, come on, little phone, do your work. Sorry, you guys getting feedback? That's my phone. If anybody can hear that. No, I'm good. 
Oh, I can't buy that. Uh, tomorrow, just after that. Yeah. So if you seen the um, if you seen the address, you probably seen that he uh, Chris Woody had a lot of a lot of trouble with the slides at the time. Uh, so he kept saying like, <laughs> "Next slide, please. Uh, previous slide, please. Next slide, go back." And then uh, yeah. So Greg James made it into the Cha Cha slide, which oh, is amazing. Nah. Oh shit! No, hold on. Okay, you are you ready? You ready? In times of trouble. I tend to rely on DJ Casper, and he was the answer to my worries. Joining us, I'm glad that we have our chief medical officer, Chris Wickey. Can I first slide, please? Can you go back on slide, please? Next slide, please. 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 One slide back, please. Can we go back one slide, please? Chris Cross. Next slide, please. Cha -cha, real smooth. This is going to go on for some time. The internet is undefeated. <laughs> the internet is amazing. Um, yeah, so if we could implement something like that into the NI Music Prize, I'd be very down for it. Um, if somebody can make that happen, that would be very cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry. I just remembered that. I was like, shit, I meant to send that to you guys. That was, that's very good. Um, yeah, and I music pride be interesting, but at least we'll all get to go because I've never been to the thing, and we can all go virtually. That would be nice. What date uh, is there? A date? Date? Yeah, the date? Uh, 12th, 12th of November. It's a Thursday. Thursday night. That's the day that the new that consoles come out. Ah! You crazy <laughs> bastard! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're out. Uh, yes, yeah, so I was. I was literally about I'll to be, be playing like, my PlayStation. I was kind of like, oh, maybe we could like cover it. We could do a podcast during the event, and we could like cover it in real time. But no, that's not gonna happen no more. I'll be playing my PlayStation Five, motherfuckers. We we <laughs> could uh, we could all live stream from our PlayStations and uh, and uh, do a podcast that way. And be like, so who won what? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool, man. That's cool. No, no, no. Just, uh, just playing some BS fabs. That's if I get it. I don't know. I know. Um, that's the thing. Big, big question mark for anybody that ordered those. Uh, I definitely have a pre-order, and I haven't received an email to say I'm not gonna get it. Still not certain though. Not don't have a lot of confidence in it. I'm waiting until after the game awards at the end of the year to decide what I'm getting. <laughs> You're, You're so torn, aren't you? <laughs> I really am. I will get both, but I, I, yeah, one at a time. One at a time. Um, so I, speaking of local music news, um, there's a band from here uh, called Ferals, who I'm, I'm a very big fan of. Uh, I haven't heard anything from them in a while. It's actually quite funny. I just coincidentally, I opened my laptop bag to get my webcam for this and uh, pulled out like a disc in there. And it's a it's a feral city. Hold on, I can actually I can prove it to the uh, YouTube watchers. Hold on, where am I? I think it must have been from like one of the last gigs I was at or something. Uh, yeah, it just says ferals on it. There we go. <laughs> can you read that or is it back to front? I don't know. Uh, no, it's yeah. right, right, right. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. All right, reminds, all right. reminds me of the uh obviously it's not, but reminds me of the system of a down steal this track. Well steal this C D uh cover. Yeah. Remember that? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, pirate this music sort of That's yeah. something like that. Yeah. So just yes, yeah, so steal white background. The, steal this album. That's right. Um, yeah, no, it was just weird because I was like, uh I mean that's the last time I really heard anything from them. I think I bought this. Well, I, I tried to buy it. Well, sorry <laughs> i did buy it in the end but they kept trying to give it to me for free uh i played a show with them uh god when would that have been last summer maybe was it before that two summers ago i can't even remember was Dude. that was that the voodoo show no it was at the pavilion in belfast it was the summer program uh the show oh, where they tried yes. to put a bunch of bands on at the same time and we all had smaller sets but i think they headlined it if i remember they were the last oh, to play yeah, yeah. And yeah, dude, they just bring 
they bring a wild atmosphere. But I remember I seen uh, their guitarist afterwards and I was talking to him and I was like, can I get one of the CDs off you? And then he kept being like, just take it, just take it, it's fine. It's, <laughs> I think probably because it is this. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's literally just a copy disc. And I was like, no, let me give you money for it. And he kept trying to refuse. But eventually I got them with the money. I said, think of it as a donation. Do I, do love, I do love those guys they're they're lovely guys like the chat too they are um, so and and what i do like as well as you say like um um stuff doesn't come out uh on the regular with those guys but i think what they do so well is they they like everything that comes out is constantly of a very high level and everything yeah, is really catchy I, and really cool i think it's about to get a lot higher because they went to small town in america um to record it i think anyway i, I seen it on post but They've only released like small clips of it. Um, they're like the single that's coming out, and uh, it sounds sounds very cool. Um, I'm really excited for it, like genuinely. I think it's like out in two days or something, probably out on Friday. Uh, usually release day for mm-hmm. stuff. Uh, but yeah, I like to think that I've kind of funded the album in a way. Uh, I suppose because <laughs> uh, I gave Sam three pounds for for this. So uh, yeah, I really I was kind of an integral investor. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh don't give him back to the people at all times <laughs> <laughs> um there's uh i'm trying to remember off the top of my head i'm pretty sure there is somebody else there's another local artist from here that i'm like excited for something coming out and i'm forgetting who it is right I now i think you're thinking or if not this is what i was gonna say uh winona bleach um have some of their new stuff coming out soon um, that's exactly who i'm thinking of thank you for that um yeah because it's later it's like november 6th i want to say they're bringing out a single called glimmer they shot a music video in a forest and it was all smoky and cool and that's an that's another band that's got got my heart yeah it does look very cool i'm looking at it right now i can't wait to to see the full thing yeah it's pretty awesome i, I remember watching their instagram story of them like filming the stuff and it was very cool um and then I suppose on a self-promotion type thing, uh, I done a radio interview on Q Radio uh, on Sunday there. So that was that was a lot of fun. Got to talk about the Sad Boy EP a little bit and just how it came around and stuff. Uh, the show will still be up for a week. So like if you didn't get a chance to listen to it, you know, hop back on the Q Radio player thing and uh, check it out. Uh, it was good to talk about it because it's... Uh, I've definitely felt like it's quite hard. I was very proud of that EP and uh, I, d- I did get a lot of positive feedback on it, but I feel it's just hard to like promote at this time. I, you know, I can't play a show. I can't get it out on a bite. And that's why I kept trying to reach out to like radio stations and stuff and saying like, I, I cannot get publicity at the minute for this. I, I, I can't seem to push it through. Um, but then weirdly, I, I broke 1K streams the same day I... Uh, got on the the radio interview so that they kind of happened at the same time which is pretty cool but uh yeah i put a lot into that so keep listening to it everyone please and share it around uh i would very much appreciate that like and share like <laughs> like and share everybody and let us know what you think in the comments man fucking... is there any here is there any uh, other way they can uh you can listen to that apart from going to the radios like nah no, unless um, they don't put anything else out no they don't but i will like i will be very honest right here i'm probably gonna go on and steal the clip because you got to um Chop before it, it disappears snippets yeah and then i'll put it on my instagram or something so keep an eye out for that too um Ooh. yeah uh oh i did something really weird today by the way uh i i did a photo shoot with my wife and my baby and my dog uh, which is a weird thing. Was this the it? thing that you've been planning for months? Yeah. Well, so... not you've been planning for months, but it's been getting held back. Yeah. Well, just in just case anybody back. thinks I were being very irresponsible, it was a uh, a newborn baby photo shoot that should have happened whenever we first had our baby in the first couple of weeks. And um, obviously, uh, with the lockdown, the whole thing got cancelled and it was like a free voucher. So then they were like, we'll contact you again later. And then they did. And that was fine, but then it looked like it was getting worse again. So then they kind of canceled, but then it turned out they could stay open because apparently their class is retail, which sounds very strange to me. But uh, I was talking to the girl today and she's like, yeah, we're class is retail. So uh, we got to go up today and 
to do like a photo shoot, which I actually think was better because he's seven months old now and super cute. And uh, bring our dog up and did like a whole photo thing. But dude, that was exhausting. Like, I, I know it's like, like uh, one of these family portrait things where you guys are all wearing the, the exact same jumper and you each have one hand on the shoulder of the next person. And then like Jess has her hand on Alex's shoulder or something <laughs> like that. I, w- I would have paid big money to make that happen. But uh, <laughs> it's not far off. We did, no. we did color coordinate. We're all very autumnal. Uh, lots of beiges and oranges and burnt burgundies and I don't know. <laughs> burnt burgundy. It's, that sounds like someone's name. Ron's brother. <laughs> burnt burgundy. Uh, yeah, but it was really tiring. That's what surprised me. It was trying to like, it was such a weird balance to try and get between, um, I had to be very calm with my dog. So it's like, they want to get like photos of Alex and Jess together. And I would be like behind the camera woman uh, with like a treat trying to get my dog to stay and be like, just stay, stay, being really calm. But then Sarah's on the other side going like, like to try and make Alex smile. So it's like one of us is being crazy excitable and the other one was being super calm. And I was like, it was a train wreck. It was a mess. Uh, I think we got lots of great photos, but it was really hard to do. And I was just like, whenever I left, I was like, why am I like sweating? Like I just did a workout. I was so tired. I was like, I feel for you supermodels. Um, and <laughs> now, now that I'm seeing it, that's why I don't think I'm getting into that line of work, boys. And that's now, the only, now, that's now the you, only now reason. You're, you're making me picture supermodels at a photo shoot with somebody just off camera going... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, to try and make them smile. That's the I, yeah. I hear it's That's, the hardest part is to try and get the supermodel in a good mood. Make sure that you know they're they're excitable and they're smiling and they're looking at the camera. <laughs> what do you think that sort of job would pay? Like twenty five k a year, thirty k, <laughs> maybe not as much as that. <laughs> I don't know. No. But pointless sound effect, but you mentioned money, so I've been waiting. <laughs> I've been waiting the whole episode for you to mention money, Micah. <laughs> Um, money but, Mike. That sounds like money that's Mike. From something. <laughs> that's his name. That's from something. Is money Mike in Atlanta? Is that? that Shit, is, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, money Mike. Uh, it's oh, happening now. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> Every episode, <laughs> you've got like, a sign effect for it and everything. I'm doing as this, always this. with money Mike <laughs> and Andrew Mamandrew. <laughs> yeah i don't i don't know i don't really have a noise for you um i think money mike's from friday uh, money mike oh my god it's just hit me money mike is cat williams the pimp from friday after next (laughs) oh my god if nobody's seen that fucking movie go see it i haven't thought about cat williams in a long time Cat williams is hilarious but also not, but also Money is. Money Mike. <laughs> oh my I know. God, I'm going to watch that. Yeah, okay. it sort of like blew my mind recently, not knowing how many like movies Damon Wayans was in during the 90s. And I was like, shit, this guy was in like a yeah, lot of he, movies. Yeah, he, like, he was like Adam Sandler. Like he was in loads yeah, he's, of like... Uh, yeah. He's in that movie with Adam Sandler, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But little, then he had like all of his... Uh, there's one... What is the one where he's the drill sergeant? Oh, like, major like some, major pain. Major pain. Yeah, major I knew pain. it was something pain. Yeah. Yeah, major pain. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but he had uh, like loads of comedy movies like that as well. I know, man. Did you guys never watch anything with his son, Damon Wayne Jr.? That guy's hilarious. He's so funny. I don't uh, think so. I am aware of him. I don't know if I've seen he's anything. He's so good. Like, uh, the, the, just watch New Girl. I can't. The, you guys have never watched New Girl, have you? It's like the no. funniest shit ever. It's so good. Oh yeah, didn't he get replaced by? Uh, uh, yeah, um, Le- Lamorne, Lamorne Morris. Yeah. Um, yeah, he did, but it's a. Uh, so it was a thing. He wasn't really replaced. He was. Um, he was in the first episode, and then it's not that they like recast the same character. They said it was a different character, and that character goes away. But it's because he had a show that lined up and it conflicted, and he left to go do that show instead. Um, so then they went forward with um, the guy that plays Winston, uh, Lamorne Morris. I'm pretty sure that's his name anyway, um, for like a couple of seasons. And then what I like to call it, because I've watched it like about 10 times, the whole series, I like to call it the golden era is whenever Damon Wayans Jr.'s character uh, returns and 
he doesn't replace anyone. He just gets added in. So it's just like extra comedy. It's just an extra. extra it just gets better. It's just whenever they're all there and then he joins the crew again. Best, best stuff ever. I think I've only ever seen him in that and um, my wife and kids for obvious reasons because it's his brother. So he's, he's going to be in it. So I've seen that. That's the only things I've seen him in. Oh, what? Damon Wayne's junior? junior? Was he in because my Damon, kids? Yeah, because his, you know, because Damon Wayne's is. It's his dad. The, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, d- I don't even remember. I'm pretty being. sure he was in some episodes. He probably he was obviously Probably wasn't a yeah. He's a, a long... different different yeah. character, like because his weirdly his son is called Junior in that because it's like as in Demon wins. Yeah, son that's show, hard to explain. Junior. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it's yeah. not his actual son. It's his TV show son, but I'm assuming that it's based on his actual son. Yeah, and then his real son apparently then also has appeared in the show, but not playing his son. Easy to yes. follow. Yes, it is. That's I yeah, great. there's bound to be nobody left <laughs> listening by this point. <laughs> oh fellas. Oh well. Um so uh I think next week, whenever we come on, that will have to be our Halloween episode, won't it? I think that's the closest podcast to Halloween. Uh, yes, yeah, I think you so. All right. I'ma have to fill up my soundboard with spooky sounds. Get that back. Uh, get Don Mapula back. <laughs> um, Don Mapula. Don Mapula, and I can't remember who who are you guys? Andrew Fernand dead. <laughs> Was that it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And Mike. Mike. I can't. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I'm gonna have to go back and listen to the episode. Uh, just watch Friday after next, and you just dress as a pimp, and you can be Money Mike. Money, That's money, your Halloween Mike. Costume. Money, money, Mike. money, money, Mike. Uh, yeah. yeah, well, you should definitely do some sort of Halloween episode. I'll try and come dressed up. You guys also dress up. We'll, we'll dress we'll up, not, too. We'll and then nobody will, yeah. We'll, <laughs> we'll dress up, too, wink. <laughs> put, a, put a spooky picture up. Yeah, I suppose for anybody only listening audio, uh, we're, we're doing video ones, but currently I'm the only one with the webcam. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm working, working on it, working on it. Yeah, yeah. Um, you, the, these guys will get it sorted. It'll be cool. Um, we're just trying it out for now because it seems like a lot of people watch it on YouTube, which is why we just keep uploading it anyway. But eventually we will all be here and it will be cool. And, and you will wish the picture, pictures were back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what? You guys are beautiful. And we'll all get judged. We'll get judged. Like No. It's like been, it's like that thing, I know. like uh, uh, watching daytime TV and stuff now, and everybody's doing their like their interviews from their homes and stuff, and the presenters are no like not not listening to the people that they're interviewing. They're more interested about what's going on in the backgrounds of their houses. Yeah, have you well, noticed this lately? Well, why not? <laughs> okay, Jerry <laughs> Seinfeld. Have you noticed this? Have you seen this? <laughs> <laughs> what's the deal? What's with the deal? <laughs> Zoom <What's>... calls. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Seinfeld comedy works in any era. It, yeah. Jerry, if he wanted to, could make a very good 2020 special about coronavirus. What's the deal with the face masks? <laughs> I don't, I don't know, Jerry. What is the deal with face masks? You would ask, and he would say something funny, and everyone would laugh. Um, yeah. So I, I think, uh, is there anything else you guys would like to add before we wrap it up um, on this episode of the Six Set Bro? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, you have to obviously listen to that Kanye song. I will. I will listen to it uh, for next week so we can discuss it. What the fuck was that, Kanye? And uh, you know what I would do just to get, I think to get everyone in the spooky mood. Keep an eye on the Your Spaceship Instagram and Facebook and even the Dom Maple ones. And we will post our Halloween playlist, which is something that we have been building as a collective for a number of years. Um, me and my brother, especially. Uh, that has been added to like three, four years going now, I think. That yeah, playlist. a long time. There's a lot, of, uh, a lot of songs on it. Like it's a really long playlist. So if you want just something to put on, not have to really worry about finding spooky songs, uh, you know, we're, we're your guys. Um, we'll put it up for everybody to to jump on. If you guys want to yeah. follow it, go ahead. That's fine. Um, or, or Since we can't it. use it for a 
goddamn house party anymore yeah. because yeah well that, that that's what i was gonna say in case anybody's like new to the podcast or not aware like we're massively into halloween we're, we're big halloween we, people we would have a halloween party every year so that's that's kind of where the playlist originated from but then it seems to get a good few shares around whenever it comes to this this time of year and we put it up on your spaceship and shit yeah i think it's just handy because i know that like we started making it just for the sake of there's really only two kinds of halloween playlists and that is uh the one that has the monster mash Monster Mash is the first song yeah yeah and then the one that's like alternative halloween where it's like it's way too hipster ours is just like a mass amount of songs some of them i i just find spooky don't know why maybe they're not or they just have like a creepy pretty much anything in a minor key is on there um ones that have spooky things in the name if it says skeleton dead (laughs) vampire uh kill psycho do you have uh, that song by uh (laughs) oh my god i can't remember is it tulips tulips What's is that, that the song? You know the one from when the kid from The Walking Dead was like, there was flies on the plate, and uh, then that no. creepy song was playing. Oh. Is it tulips in the window? No, it's really it's... high pitch. Oh. Tip, yes, tip, I know what. Tiptoes through know the song. Tip-toes. There you go. <laughs> Tip, that it's song. Like the that guy. They're really. Fr- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the yeah. The, what's that guy called? He's really freaky. I don't, I don't know. He is a Halloween movie in himself. Um, just looking at him. Um, Tiny Tim. Yeah, I knew he had a hilarious Tim. name also. Yeah, Tiny Tim with Tiptoe Through the Tulips. Oh, God. Remember when this was on The Walking Dead? Jesus Christ. You know what's funny is... Play the- us out, Tiny Tim. <laughs> <laughs> the-, the Walking Dead is not the first thing I, I heard that song in. You know what, what was in before that? It was a horror movie, was it not? I thought no. it was used in a horror movie before. No. No. <laughs> no. It was on SpongeBob. I'm, I was going to say it's something Jesus. less cool. <laughs> it, it's in an episode of SpongeBob, but it was used in a much funnier way. And now, I, once once you see the guy, um, you're just like, yeah, I'm terrified. I'm, I'm not okay. <laughs> that should have never been used in a children's yeah, cartoon. Probably not. I mean, it fit in at the time, but sure. Um, what are you gonna do? Jeez, that voice. He got castrated or something, right? <laughs> that sounds like a school rumor again. <laughs> Bill, we're getting back into <laughs> back to school rumors from last hey, week. Hey, did, hey, did y'all hear Tiny Tim was castrated? Whispers. What, what, didn't they say that about the the snowman guy? Uh, Frosty? Snowman go. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> have you ever seen genitalia on Frosty? <laughs> Boy was castrated. Um, no, the guy that done the song, what's his name? Uh, Abbott Jones. Alad. 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 Avid. Is it Avid? I think it's Alad. DJ Alad. <laughs> DJ Alad. Yeah, somebody, did, I remember people saying that he was castrated, but that's sounded like a bunch of shit. And they also said it about Michael Jackson, but they said a lot of things about Michael Jackson, so... What are you gonna do? But let's uh, let's not let's not get into that now <laughs> because we do not have the time. Um, that dumb thing. We covered that in a previous podcast, did we not? We did, and it was called. Go Living, back and check the Living old Neverland. episodes. Uh, <laughs> thanks everybody for tuning in. It's been six set, bro. Um, it's been a pleasure being back. Uh, join us again next Friday for a special Halloween episode. Go check out the Year Spaceship. Uh, Facebook page to follow the Halloween playlist. Take it easy. Peace. See ya.